Hello viewers, welcome to the Academia. Today I will discuss uh, some MCQs from skeletal muscle. So these MCQs will help for uh, the preparation of any kind of competitive examination either it is NET or SLET or NEET or any kind of uh, uh, competitive examinations. Okay, so our first question contractile unit of muscle is the portion of myofibril between is it a a and h band b z line and a band c two adjacent z lines or d a and i band so what will be the right answer the right answer will be c that is two adjacent z lines number two sarcotubular system a exists in the kidney b comprises proximal and distal convoluted tubules c made up of t tubules and sarcoplasmic reticulum or d comprises smooth and rough endoplastic reticulum so the right answer will be c that is made up of t tubules and sarcoplasmic reticulum so this system is very important for the muscles number three true about skeletal muscle contractile response is a contraction precedes the action potential b decrease in calcium 2 plus concentration within the cell to 2 into 10 to the power 4 moles per liter produces muscle relaxation c both contraction and relaxation of muscle are active process or d Ca2 plus ions passively reaccumulate into terminal cystine during muscular relaxation. So, the right answer will be C that is both contraction and relaxation of muscle are active process. Okay. So, this is true about skeletal muscle contractile response. Next question, the troponin Tropomyosin complex is believed to play what role in muscle contractile process? We know that the troponin and tropomyosin are the important muscle proteins which help in the contraction process of muscles. So, first option, it provides the major amount of elastic tension during the contractile process. B, it is uh, believed that in the resting state, it covers the active site on the actin filament. C. Combination of the complex with myosin excites the activity of power stroke or D. Combination of potassium with the troponin portion of this complex is believed to trigger muscle contraction. So the right answer will be B. That is, it is believed that in the resting state it covers the active site on the actin filament and that's why there is no contraction in the resting state. Number 5. The length of the muscle at which it develops maximum active tension is called what? So, is it optimum length, resting length, equilibrium length or initial length? So, the right answer will be, can you guess? It is A that is optimum length. Moving to number 6. The muscles typically exhibiting isometric contractions are A. Extraocular B. Respiratory C. Antigravity or D. Masticatory So which muscles exhibit isometric contractions? So in our next video I will discuss about isometric and isotonic contraction. So the right answer will be antigravity muscles. Next. Tension developed in a muscle due to activation of contractile component is called passive tension or active tension or total tension or none of the above. So, it is active tension. Next one, the muscle ruptures when it is stretched at least dash times its equilibrium length. Is it 2 or 3 or 5 or 10? So, what is the answer? The answer is 3. So, 3 times its equilibrium length. Moving to question number 9. 
an isotonic contraction differs from an isometric contraction in that in isotonic contraction what happens muscle is less efficient b external work is done c heat of activation is greater or d recovery heat is reduced so generally we know that in isotonic contraction external work is done so this is the right answer moving to question 10 the motor unit is so this is very important motor unit a muscle fiber and neurons supplying it b ventral horn cells along with its motor nerve c single motor neuron and all the muscle fibers it supplies or d single muscle fiber with its nerve so what is the answer so the answer is the motor unit is actually the single motor neuron and all the muscle fibers it supplies next one best method to increase the muscle strength is isometric exercises isotonic exercises aerobic isotonic exercises or electrical stimulation so the answer is isometric exercises it is the best method to increase the muscle strength next first twitch skeletal muscle fibers differ from slow twitch muscles in that former have low atpase activity b are adapted for posture maintaining contraction c contain more sarcoplasmic reticulum with high glycogen capacity or d resistant to fatigue so first twitch muscle fibers and slow twitch muscle fibers the difference is c they contain more sarcoplasmic reticulum with high glycogen capacity okay so that's why they are called first twitch skeletal muscle fibers next one muscle fatigue is due to so we all know about the skeletal muscle fatigue basically uh, <clears throat> is it due to long latency low atp is activity slow contraction of muscle or inadequate supply of atp so the right answer will be due to inadequate supply of atp muscle fatigue occur next deckens muscular dystrophy correct statement is is it a mild form of disease or dystrophin is present in small amounts manifest as a great generalized muscle disability or characterized by slowness in relaxing muscle after voluntary effort so what is called this muscular dystrophy so it is c that is manifest as a great generalized muscle disability and uh, it is a disability of muscle and uh, this is the correct statement next one slow relaxation of muscle is known as myokinesia b myotonia c muscular dystrophy or d muscle spasm which one so the right answer will be b that is myotonia next immediate energy source for muscle contraction is gtp adenosine triphosphate that is adp lactic acid or creatine phosphate so it will be atp that is adenosine triphosphate next the chemical energy of food stuff that can be converted into work under optimal conditions is a 10% b 25% c 50% or d 75% so it will be b that is 25% so the chemical energy of food stuff uh, of 25% uh, can be converted into work under optimal condition next what is not true of rigor mortis so we know about rigor mortis which is a condition a depleted atp and phosphocreatine stores b muscle becomes extremely rigid and contracted c occurs after death or d 
calcium ions concentration within the muscle cells increases so it will be d that is calcium ions contraction within the muscle increases and that's why the rigor mortis occur so these are some of the mcqs from skeletal muscle hope uh, you can understand this so be the part of academia till then bye bye